This is one of the cars that is leading the charge for change. Just plug it into any electrical outlet, and after a few hours, it has enough juice for a jolly jaunt through the countryside. No exhaust pipe is needed, as there are no direct emissions. And if the power generated by the electrical plant is clean, everyone can breathe a little easier. Well, at least until the next electricity bill lands on your doormat. Production begins with the first half of the gearbox. A worker bolts a brass fitting to the centre and then attaches plastic tubing. The tubing will deliver lubricant to the transmission's bearings. He inserts those bearings into slots in the gearbox and presses them into place using a hydraulic tool. He drips a thread locking compound into screw holes and inserts a device for locking the transmission. It's called the parking pawl. He applies adhesive to some more screws and threads them through the pole to the gearbox. Using a calibrated torque wrench, he tightens them to a precise setting. The transmission is single speed with four gears, which they install in the other half of the gearbox. These are helical gears. Their teeth are cut at an angle for gradual engagement and smooth operation. They're now ready for the rotor and the stator these are the electromagnets that together provide the electric motor's driving force. They insert the rotor into the stator, where their two electromagnetic fields will interact to create torque, transforming electrical energy into mechanical energy. They hoist the rotor and stator assembly onto the gearbox and bolt them together. They attach cables for wiring the motor to the power electronics module. This is a crucial part that regulates the flow of battery power to the motor. This completes the electric motor drivetrain. They lower the drivetrain into the back of the pre-assembled car body. They position the mounts over slots in the steel subframe. Once in place, they bolt the drivetrain to the chassis. Now under the car, they pull back the rear suspension to attach the drive shaft to the gearbox. The shaft is equipped with a rubber encased joint, which allows each rear wheel to react to bumps independently without affecting the other. The battery is next, seen here in a display model of the powertrain. The metal pack contains over 6,800 lithium-ion cells and delivers 215 kilowatts of power. This allows the car to accelerate to 100 kilometers an hour in under four seconds. The car is now lowered onto the battery, positioning it in front of the gearbox and just behind the car seats. They jack up the battery for a precision fit. Next, they connect the wiring for low voltage systems, like the lights and fans. And now the brains of the electric car, the power electronics module. It's installed on top of the motor and battery, and then connected to both. With all the wires connected, the module can convert DC power from the battery to AC power for the motor. It will then supply that current as the driver steps on the accelerator. They drain air from the battery using a vacuum system, then pump in liquid coolant. Coolant continuously flows through the battery to maintain an even temperature. The body panels are made of durable, lightweight carbon fiber. And with the computer software updated, and the car now completely assembled, 
it's time for a test drive. As this sports car accelerates, there's no throaty roar. Unlike a combustion engine, the electric motor takes off quietly and quickly. No vroom and no fumes.